this lesson, we will talk about uh, the documentation. And within Autotask, you have two different types of documentation. The first is the customer-specific documentation, and the second is the Autotask knowledge base, which is just general knowledge articles. So in this article uh, or in this lesson about documentation, let's take a look at the customer-specific documentation. So in Autotask, let's go to the admin center, which you can do by going to the menu in the top left corner and clicking on admin right here. And if you're here, you can go to the set, uh, third tab automation and click on it. And as you can see, you have a knowledge base and documentation uh, tab right here. So you can click on the plus sign to expand it. And we will go to the documentation. So we will click on this. So in the documentation, as you can see, we have um, a general overview about different kind of articles and uh, where they're pub published and visible. And if certain kind of documents are still waiting on for say let's say approval so from this page we can go to the uh, categories or we can click on new documents or documentation manager so let's first go to the categories as you can see we have um, different kind of categories set up with our uh, own best practice so as you can see we have just a, a folder which is called all documents and underneath we have administration diagrams and photos knowledge base, policies, processes and procedures and scripts. And let's just keep in mind everything is um, customer specific. So if we go to the documentation manager right here and click on it, as you can see, we can, uh, this is the documentation manager. And in the documentation manager, you can select a company right here at the top. As you can see, it's ABC demo right now and in the, uh, uh, ABC demo. Um, as you can see, we have different kind of categories for our con configuration items. And underneath, we have for the documents, we have the categories right here. And as you can see, they are the same for uh, the categories we just viewed within the uh, admin center. And as you can see, you have one overview page right here, which you can click on right here and it will become visible. And another kind of general page is the expiration page. And as you can see, after I've clicked on it, the expirations for the uh, CIs will become visible. So this customer has one workstation, which has an expired uh, warranty date as you can see right here and it'll become visible in this page so you can just very easily keep track of the expirations and yeah just uh, keep on top of it for your customers and as you can see um, we have the configuration item categories right here and um, yeah we can just filter or click on each category to see which kind of CIs the customer has and as you can see they only have one workstation right now when I click on this category, the workstation will become visible. And I can just click on the workstation right here to open the CI. And um, uh, after the CI is opened, I can just view the CI as uh, always. So let's go back to the previous page. And as you can see, I can just click on new right here and it'll open the new page for a new document. And as you can see, we can just give it a title. So for let's say um, BCDR, we can fill in certain kind of keywords here. So it'll be very easily searched for. So yeah, we can, we can just um, uh, fill it in right here. If, if there's an error code, we might want to fill it in right here. So it'll, it'll be really easy to search for it. And, um, it's possible to just um, put in a URL right here. And if we put in a URL right here, then the user which will want to view this document will be redirected to this URL. Or we might want to place content right here. Um, and as you can see, we have the normal content editor and we can just yeah, use it. So we can like make different headings, use the paragraph tag. Well, this, this will be really easy to use. And as you can see, different kinds of things are possible. We can just use bullet points or ordered lists, or we can make indentations, stuff like that. It's 
pretty much like a really simple word editor, but uh, yeah, for your documentation right here. And underneath we can add tag. So for this one, we might want to use the BCDR tag. So it'll be really easily uh, searched for if we search for a tag. And um, we might want to put in a checklist right here. So we might want to test BCDR right here. And we might want to add another checklist item. So we might want to put in reinstall. And as you can see, we can just put in related uh, items, which will be visible when we save this. So as you can see, we might want to relate other uh, articles or documents. So we might want to relate this article and we can just click on it. As you can see, it'll be become visible right here underneath, which means it'll become re a related item. We might want to relate a, co a configuration item category. So for the BCDR, the category might be a backup. So let's search for that. So because it'll be a backup appliance and as you can see, it's related right here. Well, related companies, we might want to relate ABC demo because it's for this company. And if they uh, have a backup appliance, we might want to relate it right here. And we can just select the serial number or the workstation. But right now it's a backup appliance and we don't have that in Autotask. So I won't um, relate a specific configuration items. And as you can see, we can also relate tickets right here, but that's not necessary for right now. So if you have an ap approval flow, you can just save it as a draft. So let's do that right here. And yeah, in, in the documentation manager, we can go to manage documentation. As you can see, there is a, a new draft available right here and it is active. So we can click on it right here. And as you can see, we will go to the document right here and we can open it. And yeah, if if everything is in order in the documents uh, uh, right here, so we will we will put it in right here. We we've made a uh, a change, and we can just click on approve and publish. And after this, as you can see, it's it's gone from here. And we will get the published document right here to view for us. So as you can see, it's underneath all documents, ABC demo internal only. And you can see the document ID right here and the title right here. And um, yeah, you can see in the notes underneath here with the activity, you can see a little bit of history. So um, as you can see, a draft of this document has been approved and published. And you can click on the related items right here to just open a certain kind of related items, but I'm not going to do that now. It's just very easy to keep in mind. And as you can see, when you have a document open, you can just add the checklist very easily by clicking here at checklist to ticket and relate ticket to document. So we can just click on it and we can search for the ticket. Or if we only want to add a checklist to the ticket, we can just click on this one instead of also relating it to this document. So let's, for example, say we want to add a checklist to this ticket and relate the ticket to the document. What we can do is we can just search for the ticket right here. Or if it's not a recent ticket, we can just click on the icon right here. And it'll open the ticket selector. And as you can see, you get a little bit more information in this view and you can just filter on certain kind of things to just very easily search for your ticket. But as I've said before, it's a little bit hard to just go to the document first. What you might want to do is if you make a new ticket, you might want to uh, work the other way around. So let's go do that right now. So um, let's click on the plus sign right here to open the new ticket view. And let's say, for example, I um, have the customer ABC demo for which we just made the document. And we have a BCDR error. So I will just want to make the ticket right here. Well, let's say um, 
We have this right here and it's for backup. We have an error right here, fill it in. We can just click on suggest tags. And as you can see, we have the error tag, but we might also want to get the BCDR tag. And we can do that by filling it in right here so the tag is attached. And as you can see, the checklist is empty right now. But we will fill it in with our uh, from our documents in a, in a minute. So let's just save the tickets. Oh. Let's just save the ticket right now. Okay, so as you see, the ticket is saved and we have a BCDR error and a description with error. As you can see, we have the right kind of text connected to this ticket. And there, there are a few other buttons visible right now. The, um, this button is find a solution and the second button is add a solution. So let's just click on the find a solution button right now. And as you can see, a new screen will open and you can you get suggested solutions in the screen. So I know for this customer, I need this article so I can just click on it. Or if you need something else, you can just search the knowledge base right here. And the knowledge base will open if the uh, suggested solutions aren't the right kind of solutions. But we have one right now, so let's just click on this one. And as you can see, the article we've just created will open up right here and we can just add the checklist to the ticket. And as you can see, I can just click on the button right now and I don't have to search for the ticket because it's uh, associated automatically. And uh, I can just click on the but button and it'll uh, associate itself with the ticket. So when I go back to the ticket, I can just um, refer refresh the view. And as you can see, the checklist has been filled in the tickets. So let's say I'm a uh, level two engineer and I get a ticket which I've been working on and uh, I have a solution. I might want to click on the button add a solution right here. So my colleagues from the um, help desk or the support desk will know the solution in the future. So I can just click on this button add a solution right here. And as you can see, the documentation manager page for a new article has been opened automatically. And as you can see, the description has been copied right here and the keywords have, have been filled in right here. There has a title has been pre-filled and the suggested tags are also pre-filled, just like the related items. So it's a very easy way to just um, fill in solutions and uh, fill in your knowledge base or your documentation manager. So as you go along and as you fill in more, more and more solutions, it'll get easier for your help desk to just fix uh, tickets or find solutions very easily. So yeah, okay, that's the documentation manager in a nutshell.